I did it. I went to Thailand. My first stop was in Seoul, Korea, and it was the longest flight on the planet, but I survived. There was some turbulence, but it was okay. I was able to survive that and not have a lot of anxiety. The food was actually really good on the plane. They gave us two meals uh, shortly after we took off, and then the second one was before we landed. But overall, the food was really good. They even give you dessert on the plane on those long flights. Before you land, they do stretching exercises on this airline, which is very helpful because you get so cramped up from sitting down so long. My first connection was in Seoul, Korea, therefore I had to wait two hours and I explored the airport a little bit before I had to get to the next location, which was Bangkok. And I arrived really late at night, so I was ready for bed as soon as I got there. Which was crazy because at that moment, my time zone has changed. Therefore, my sleeping schedule completely changed immediately. Uh, my Airbnb location was really awesome. It was very foresty and in a small village outside of town. And the Airbnb was very cozy. It was a small cottage and the bathroom was separate. But the water was so good in the shower. And I took a walk the next day to McDonald's because I needed Wi-Fi and a meal before I continued on my journey. But when I got back, I enjoyed the garden that they had at the Airbnb and it was magical, so pretty. I took advantage of the two days that I had in Bangkok before I met up with my friends. So I took a taxi to a temple um, in the middle of town and I was going to explore more of them but I was so tired from the first one that I just didn't so I decided to go to the mall. And this mall is huge. There's so many floors on this mall and I just wanted a meal and to see what I could get myself into in this place. There were probably seven or eight floors in this building and it was so beautiful every restaurant was amazing i didn't get food <laughs> their pride celebrations are insane they're so good and all of the food they displayed was looking amazing but i only got mango sticky rice so i decided to just sit down and enjoy that but the view of all the food was great and the people are so nice and so gentle. So I sat down by this floating uh, boat area that was in the middle of the eating place and I enjoyed my mango sticky rice and then I proceeded to walk around some more. You do have the choice to dress up in traditional Thai clothing to go to the temple. And this temple is Wat Arun. I think I'm saying that right, I hope I am. <laughs> but. It was so hot outside, so you could have the option to have an umbrella so you can cover yourself from the sun. And there were places for people to uh, worship as well. Then I went to my next Airbnb before my flight the next morning, and that was heading towards Phuket. I got some breakfast really quickly because my flight was really early in the morning, and Phuket was breathtaking. Landing in this place, is <laughs> another adventure it is just so amazing to land there the flight was an hour it was an hour and a half and i met with my friends at the airport and i got my first thai tea <laughs> and then we got on the ride and went to an amazing place and this was the elephant sanctuary and we got to feed the elephants and hang out with them for a little bit 
and we gave them bananas and grass because that's what they eat mostly the grass is their main meal but the bananas are like a starter for them all the elephants were female and this place rehabilitates them and rescues them from places that do abuse elephants and then we got caught in a monsoon and then we went to our next location we got to Patong Beach, which is where we were going to stay, and got Pad Thai. And this was my first Pad Thai ever. I have tasted it before, but I didn't like it because in America it's very greasy. But here, in Thailand, Pad Thai is where it's at, for sure. Finally, after traveling for long periods of time for my friends since they traveled from Australia, we got to our villa. And this was the first place that we arrived at to stay for three days. And this place was nothing less than breathtaking. This is actually my room. This is the room that I chose for myself and the view is amazing. The ocean is down there in the hill and the room was huge. The toilet is separate from the shower. I can't wait till you guys see the rest of my journey because we did so much more and so much more happened after this but this was just a preview of my first few days and i hope to catch you in my next video bye